The new trend is the marital rape. And the Indian government was trying to block it, and another group was telling it is needed. But have they ever understood? If there is a marital rape, there is a marital love. If there is no marital love, then there is no marital rape. Let us discuss. Elizabeth Cochrane, seaman, born 5th May 1864 in Pennsylvania in the United States of America, died 27 January 1920 in New York in USA, better known by a pet name. Nellie Bly was an American journalist industrialist, inventor, charity worker, who widely known by her record breaking trip around the world in 1972 days. In emulation of Jules Verne's fictional character Phyllis Fogg, an expo in which she worked undercover to report on a mental institution from Britain. She was a pioneer in a free field and launched a new kind of investigative journalist. Nellie Bly said, A pretty woman, a pretty young Hebrew woman, spoke so little English, I could not get her story except as told by the nurses. They said her name is Sarah Fishball and that her husband put her in the asylum because she had a fondness for other men than himself. The whole world of the Christian world and the Jewish world and the Hindu world and the Muslim world and the Sikh world and the Jain world and the Buddhist world talks about sharing. The more you share, Mother Teresa says, the more it comes back to you. And look here, Nelly Bly investigated in a mental asylum and found a lady has been put in an asylum because she had a fondness for other men by her husband. Husband put her in a fondness for other men is sickness. Sharing to other people is sickness. They said share, if they have shared it, they wouldn't have been poverty. Sharing was not allowed, whether it is physical sharing or sexual sharing or money sharing, it is sharing. It's an art, art given by God. And the tree shares, the bird shares, the wind shares, the sunlight shares, sun shares. And the rain pours and gives it to shares. It cannot hold in, it hold in. It still breaks off. And what are the Swamiji's talking? What are the saints talking? And the priests and the religious leaders are talking about sharing. And they take all these people in the houses. And here, Nelly Bly talks about a pretty young Hebrew woman. She was put in her asylum by her husband because she had a fondness for other men. What are you ashrams, churches, temples, masjids are doing, putting them in an asylum? You have not put them in an asylum, but indirectly you have conducted a marriage. And marriage is the biggest asylum. Men has locked women in the Asylum, they couldn't come up there. They have a separate asylum, but in India, every home is an asylum where many do not want to share, they are forgot to share. And women are living in pain. And when women are living in pain, you can understand the whole country is living in pain because when there is a positive and negative, only electricity comes. And my village people tell me, village women tell me, after the first birth, men do not even touch us. Even though they have touched me also, it was pure rain because we never understood what is orgasm. What is Saturnus and enlightenment in that orgasmic experience? That is created. If you couldn't feel it, if you couldn't sweat it, then you have not completed your run. They say Purnamada Purnamida Purna Purnamada Purnasi Purnamada 
you have a problem. You don't have a problem. No Viagra is needed to find out why you have a sexual problem. The problem is you are not talking to that plant called your wife. And you have not touched and explored it. That was the first step. One step leads to 10,000 steps. When this step goes wrong, everything goes wrong. And when you go to the company, you can find employees are waiting to shoot you, to drag you, to tear you to pieces. And you are hiding and running around to make sure how much you can root and run as fast as possible. And you run with all the money directly. The gates are open to the heaven of Manpur Hospital, Apollo Hospital. And what is it? All those people, they, 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 they put you inside like that asylum. You are in an asylum, sitting in a posh air conditioned managing directors and chairman's chair. Asylum, come out of that asylum. Kelly Bly, Nelly Bly said, a pretty young Hebrew woman spoke so little English. I do not get a story except as told by the nurses. They said her name is Sarah Fishbaum, and that husband put her in the asylum. Husband put her in the asylum. Indian husbands put their wives in the houses. It is an asylum. Houses have become asylum. It is an asylum because you are there is no love inside the house. No willingly love. Boy. Nobody taking baths together, talking to him. Each other just trimming the nails when I went to Pune in a old age home. They said, We don't want anything, please. At least we cannot bend. Can you guys trim our nails? Trim the nails of your wife, scrub her back, and you can see no asylum houses in India. Asylum, they said her name, name is Sarah Fishbaum, and that her husband put her in the asylum because she had a fondness for other men than himself. 